set off on a two-hour journey from Durban to a town called Shakaland, inhabited by traditional Zulus. The town has been named after King Shaka, the most influential leader of the Zulu kingdom. At the gates of the town, we were greeted by the representative of the prince. So here I am at the entrance of a Zulu village where I'll be greeted by a Zulu warrior. Sawana. Sawana. Ninja. Welcome. Thank you very much. So before we enter the homestead, we need to ask permission from the owner. But we will first pay respect to the warriors who died in the battles. Okay. So what we do, we pick a piece of stone from the ground, and then we spit on the stone, throw on the pipe. So this is how you pay respect to fallen warriors. Yes. That's right. And if you do that, you also wish yourself a good luck. If your stone stays on the pipe, that means I you will have, have good, good luck. luck. Okay, let's try that. Fall back to the ground is the pet now. Let's see how lucky I am. Ah, sit good right on top. Is. Thank you very much. Now, so uh, go now we'll go into the village and see what the journey has in store for us. Zulus are the largest South African ethnic group of an estimated 10 to 11 million people who live mainly in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Now, the Zulu tradition says that once you have entered the village, you must end up in the grandmother's house where you meet the prince and greet him. Thank you. So, this is how it's done, the Zulu way. Following a tour of the town, we were welcomed at the grandmother's house by the prince where all guests are received. <laughs> Then we set off to the Tanda Game Park and reserve to get some rest for the next day. We've just started our safari. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, around 20 degrees, and we are hoping to see the big five. Let's see what we can find throughout the journey. There we go, some impalas running across the track. Then we came across a herd of buffaloes. To our pleasant surprise, we then came across an African elephant. They tend to get easily annoyed by humans and could attack. So we chose to keep our distance from it. After some hot drinks, we set off to further continue our quest. Then only to be greeted by the king of the jungle. Then a pair of rhinoceros. And later, just before the sunset, we were able to get a glimpse of a giraffe and a few zebras. South Africa is also well known for its wetlands. On day two, we headed to the St. Lucia wetlands. This part of our trip has brought us to the St. Lucia wetlands where we are expecting to see crocodiles and hippos. Here we see a pod of hippos. A crocodile here sees us approaching it, so it makes a jump for the water. Anyone wishing to get close to nature must visit South Africa's KwaZulu-Natal region at least once in their lifetime. You're safe for